Hey, it's Clary, and today I'll be showing you how to install CurseForge mod packs on your server. Firstly, it's important to note that there are two different types of mods, client-side mods and server-side mods. Client-side mods are mods that are only required to be installed on a client, aka the player's computer. They're not required to be installed on the server, and at times, if installed on a server, will cause the server to crash or disable it from starting up. For example, a mod such as Optifine is client-side, as it only adjusts the look of your game, not specific mechanics or rules. For this reason, Optifine should not be installed on your server. On the other hand, server-side mods are mods that are usually installed on both the server and the client, as they make changes to the game that alters game rules. For example, a hats mod would be installed on both the server and the client, as the server needs to add the hats and the client needs to see them. In relation to this, it's important to make sure the mod pack you want to use either has a server pack or doesn't have client side mods installed on it. A server pack is a separate pack the mod pack creator creates that consists of only server compatible mods. This makes it easier for you to simply upload the mod pack without having to troubleshoot the errors or manually remove client side mods. If you don't already have CurseForge installed, we recommend doing so by heading to this official download page. We'll leave that link in the description. We recommend clicking on the second option, which will only install CurseForge. Once you've clicked that, a window will pop up and all you have to do is double click it and press next on the appropriate steps. It's a pretty straightforward installation and when you're all set up, you'll see this homepage. What you wanna do is search for the mod pack you wanna use. If you're not sure which one you'd like and you want to browse, you can also do so. Once you find a mod pack that you'd like to use, ensure it has a server pack by heading into its version section and double checking it has a download server pack symbol. Now we'll just have to install the mod pack to both our client as well as onto the server. So I'll be showing you how to install it on your computer first. This part is pretty simple, but keep in mind all players who want to join the server will also have to have the mod pack installed on their client in order to join. All you have to do on your preferred mod pack is press install and wait for the installation to complete. The time it takes depends on the size of the mod pack. Once that's done, you'll see the play button meaning the mod pack installation is finished. Before we proceed, please keep in mind to click the three dots and copy mod pack links so you can then forward this pack to your friends for download. Now that we've installed the pack on our client, let's go ahead and do it on our server. As mentioned before, it's important you have selected a mod pack with a server pack as it makes it so much easier to follow these steps. So if your pack has a server pack, simply press the download server pack option. That will instantly open up your browser and start a zip download. Now head to server.pro and open up your servers. We want to make sure that our server version and loader matches the server version and loader as the mod pack we've just installed. So I'm going to be heading into the configuration of my server and then setting the type to forge and 1.12.2 as indicated by the mod pack. Then I'll be pressing restart to ensure Sure the changes take effect. Now we'll just have to head to files and then head to the download location of where we installed the server pack. Right click and extract the files so we're able to use them. We recommend using WinRAR or 7-zip with this. What you have to do then is open up the extracted folder and simply drag all those files and drop them onto the files section of the server. That will begin the installation and that may take a couple of minutes depending on the mod pack size. After the upload is done, restart the server for the mod pack changes to take effect once again. We've installed the mod pack onto our client as well as our server, so we can now join it with our friends and get playing. To do this, let's go ahead and copy the host name of the server. Then we'll need to launch Minecraft from CurseForge. Locate the mod pack you installed earlier and press play. That'll open up a Minecraft launcher window with the pack already pre-selected. All you have to do is press play here and wait for the mods to load up. Once you're on the menu, press multiplayer and enter the host name we copied from before. Join the server and ta-da! Looking around, we can see that the mod pack is all set up. To make sure your friends can join, please let them know to install the correct mod pack or link them to this tutorial. I hope I was able to help you set up your server. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!